Well, we know you probably heard or saw some illegal fireworks going off in your neighborhood overnight, yeah. and that created a tough night for fire crews. It had a lot of people on edge, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just too dry out there to take the risk. Fireworks are believed to have started several home and grass fires across the metro yesterday. We mapped out all the places that we know firefighters had to respond. There were likely many more in the metro area. Our Veronica Acosta is in East Aurora where crews were out late monitoring some hot spots very near homes. And now that it's a little bit lighter outside, we're getting a better look at the impact that this fire had in this specific neighborhood here in Aurora. You see here behind me just how close that fire burned to some of these homes. And then if we just tilt down a little bit, you can see just how much of an area the fire actually burned at this park here. This is Springs Creek Park. You just see that grassland completely charred there. We also have some video here for you from last night. Again, you can see how close to fire those flames were to homes, how big they were as well. Something else you see in that video is those fireworks still very much going off in the background there. This is while fire crews are trying so hard to actually knock the fire down as it was burning. For a brief moment, some residents in the area, they were evacuated. They were soon allowed back into their homes, though, once fire crews had a pretty good handle on the fire itself. Meantime, witnesses said they actually did see some fireworks sparking up in this park, Springs Creek Park again. That was right before that actual fire erupted. So the good news this morning is that no one was injured because of this fire and no structures were lost. But again, fire crews just saying those fireworks really damp dampened the day for them yesterday. We're in Aurora this morning. I'm Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. Okay.